Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Mukesh English. Gone are the days when the business world used to be referred as a male dominated industry and the thought of a woman starting her own venture was treated as a taboo. But today, women are providing the metal in almost every sphere of life, from food to fashion. One can see women entrepreneurs making the mark in every field. In this video, we will discuss the inspiring journey of one such woman, Meena Bindra, the founder of Indian fashion brand Biba. Meena is the perfect example of never give up spirit as even without the professional training or any past experience in the clothing business, she reached the pinnacle of success. You want to know how? Well, watch further. Meena Bintra grew up in a large family of six siblings, three brothers and three sisters. Meena's father was a businessman, but he passed away when she was only nine years old. However, he left behind a lot of property, so her mother was able to provide and give them a normal childhood. After completing B.A. in history from Miranda House, Meena got married. Her husband was in the Indian Navy, so as a Navy wife, she was able to move around the country from Delhi to Bombay, Bombay to Vishakapatnam, never more than three years in one place. Only when her kids had grown up did Meena think of doing something. So what Meena did enjoy was designing clothes. She had not done any formal course, but she experimented with the prints and colors. She got a few of her sarees block printed just for the sake of fun. She arranged for a loan from Syndicate Bank to start new business for rupees 8,000. That was not a lot of money, but enough to buy some fabric and hire a tailor. But as they say, fortune favors the brave. She was introduced to a block printer called Devesh and he, he had a big factory. Every morning, Meena would take a cab to the factory and spend the day there experimenting with various techniques and color combinations. Through trial and error, Meena put together 40 salva suits, all casual wear and reasonably priced, that's under 200 rupees. So some stitched and some unstitched. This first sale resulted in a small profit of rupees 3000. With that money, Meena bought fabric for 80 suits and that too sold out quickly. It was a business and yet not strictly business. She was living in a huge house. It was not a commercial venture. Purely by word of mouth, Meena's suits became famous among ladies in the, Koba, in the Kolaba and Kaf Parade areas of Bombay. By the end of the day, by the end of the year, she had three tailors doing job work and started getting inquiries from retailers like Benzo and Sheetal. She gave a name, Biba, to her new bill book. Retailers placed large orders. 100 pieces at a time and they wanted new designs and a wider range of fabric. From a time pass and hobby venture, Biba was quickly becoming a real business, driven by a force bigger than the creator herself. Without any marketing, new shops were opening. Thousands quickly did become lakhs because in 1986, three years into business, Mina moved into a 1,000 square foot office at Camps Corner, an office which was paid for entirely by money earned from Biba. Things might have continued in this happy-go-lucky manner, except that around this time, Mina's elder son Sanjay, who completed his BCom and joined this business, he got into Biba full time, and he proved to be a big asset. Sanjay quickly took over the boring side of the business that is handling the labor, taking orders, keeping accounts. Now Meena could easily focus completely on designing the clothes. The next few years, Biba grew at a very fast pace. More range, more outlets, not just in Bombay, but all over India. Retailers from Bangalore and Jaipur came and placed orders. By 1993, Biba had become one of India's, India's largest ethnic wear wholesalers selling 1,000 to 2,000 pieces every month. There was money in the business, but it was not the main driving force. Meanwhile, there were other forces acting in Meena's favor. 
by the mid of 90s india's first multi city department store shopper stop came into existence they too came to biba for ladies ethnic wear in the process meena learned many lessons meena says we were forced to become more professional to stand by our commitments deliver on time and also bring our costs down without compromising on quality advanced planning control systems and quality checks help the tailors become more efficient sanjay handled most of this work very efficiently in 1993 biba had around 10 employees and worked with around 100 tailors scaling up to meet the demand was a big challenge was still prevailing working with limitations and yet going beyond limits is a true test of any entrepreneur and biba passed the test with flying colors by the year 2000 production had scaled up to 5000 pieces every month demand was never an issue as as the shopper stop and then pantaloons open new outlets they needed more and more stocks while tailors expected to be paid in cash the stores expected credit but the credit period was about 30 to 45 days and there was generally no delay so biba could manage its cash flows without bank limits or overdrafts the turning point for biba came when her younger son siddharth joined the company after graduating from harvard in 2002 although by then biba had a wide footprint and annual revenues of over rupees 25 crores it was not a well known brand name siddharth had a very clear vision that is we must have our own retail outlets biba opened its first company owned outlet in 2004 in orbit and in cr2 malls in mumbai both the shops did remarkably well from day one with a sales of rupees 12 to 15 lakhs per month meena bindra says here that encouraged us and we started booking shops wherever we thought a good mall is coming up automatically we get footfalls in march 2012 biba's annual revenue stood up rupees 3 300 crores with 90 company owned outlets contributing 50% of sales the company continues to outsource manufacturing but employs around 1000 people in supervisory roles and also for the retail sales the problem mina faced was that her husband had a transferable job when he was posted to delhi she stayed back in bombay and he was always supportive meena's deep and continuing commitment commitment is towards great design she says i rely on my own sensibilities simple elegant wearable design she feels working with family has been a blessing because you can trust them and whatever you are building you are ultimately doing it with and for your family energy is the force that moves mountains and working mothers she says i do yoga pranayama walking swimming to keep my energy up since its launch biba has seen an immense growth in the clothing industry the company has more than 180 brand outlets across 76 cities of india and 275 multi brand outlets The annual turnover of Biba is estimated at rupees 600 crores. In 2015, Biba won the best our best woman ethnic wear brand of the year at CMAI Apex Awards. Last but not the least, Meena Bindra's story of success is a subtle reminder of how one should never underestimate their potential and always be prepared to take the leap of faith. You never know. what the future holds all things bright and beautiful all pleasures great and small a woman can be wife a mother and an entrepreneur live a dream and have it all thank you so much for watching this motivational story i would like to say koi bhi lakshya manushya ke sahas se bada nahi hara wahi jo lada nahi so dear friends thoda subscribe thoda like thoda share please do subscribe like and share the video Thank you once again.